Hey guys, it's Miss Simpson and it is time for writing today. Okay, let me make myself a little bigger because I want to talk to you about some stuff. We are going to do writing different this week. Yes, you have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday to finish your essay, but I am changing it up on you, how we do things. So, we're still going to go through the whole entire writing process. That is brainstorm, plan, draft, revise, edit, and publish. But I think some of you are going to like what we're doing this week a little bit better because guess what? I'm going to let you type, type your essays. <gasps> yes. And guess what? That makes drafting easier and that makes your publish easier. Some of you are going to take your star test on paper and you're going to write your essay out. And some of you might take your um, star test on a computer or an iPad and might have to take it online. And so we need to make sure we are practicing typing in fourth grade. Now, when you get to be a big grown up and you're in college or in high school or sometimes even junior high, all the things that you do, you type. So I want to make sure I'm doing my job as a teacher and I am practicing that with you. So for the next few essays, I'm going to let you type it. Okay, so before we get started, I'm going to read you your prompt. I'm going to let you brainstorm. And um, we're going to talk about what it looks like to publish and draft an essay on the iPad. Okay, so let's take a look at our essay prompt. This is what it looks like. Okay, it says, Read the information in the box below. It is almost that time of the year for sugary treats and stuffed animals, a time where we focus on loving each other and being kind and caring towards one another. It is almost Valentine's Day. Think about your previous class Valentine's parties. What is something that you like to do on party day? Write about your plan for our class Valentine's party. Explain what activities you would want to do and what you would want to eat and explain why. So your job is you have to plan our class Valentine's party. You have to tell me what you want to do, what you want to eat, and tell me why. That is the biggest part. Don't just tell me all the things you want to eat and all the things you want to do. Tell me why you want to do those things. I want to have spaghetti at our class Valentine's party because it is my most favorite food in the whole world, and I think all the kids would like it. Or I want to make cards for our parents on our class Valentine's party because they do a lot for us and I think it would be nice to give them something back. Or I want to go on a hot air balloon ride because I think all the kids would enjoy it and it would be super fun. I think all the kids would enjoy it and it would be super fun. Guys, it can be anything as long as you tell me why. So you have to tell me what activities you want to do, what food you want to eat, and why you want those things. So I'm going to remind you how we brainstorm, and I'm going to remind you how we plan. You're still going to brainstorm, and you're still going to plan on a piece of paper. So you can brainstorm however you would like. You can do a list. You can do a bubble map. So a bubble map looks like this. So you can brainstorm like that. You can brainstorm by making a list. Maybe you're like, nah, I think a list would be better for this prompt. And you can list. You want spaghetti. You want a hot air balloon. You can list all your things out. However, it brainstorming works for you. And then today, you have to brainstorm and you have to plan, which is Monday. So then you're going to do your plan. So if I were you right now, I would go ahead and get my plan written down. Not all the words, just the format so that when you go to plan here in just a few minutes, you will be ready. So remember, we have our attention getter, our central idea, and our examples. And then we draw a line. Then we start off with our transition word. We have our topic sentence three details, and our closing sentence. And we draw a line. And then for our conclusion, we have a restate and a wrap it up. So if I were you, I would go ahead, and, <coughs> excuse me, I would go ahead and get your plan written down so that here, in, again, just a few minutes, you are ready. Okay, I'm not going to focus on brainstorm and plan with you today because I know y'all know what you're doing. 
Here's the difference. This is where it changes. You'll brainstorm and plan on paper. When you get to your essay, here is how you're going to type it. So it's time for you to draft. So Monday, Tuesday, or Monday, sorry, Monday, today, you're going to brainstorm and plan completely. Tomorrow, you're going to draft and you're going to write your whole entire draft. So on your iPad, you are going to go to this app right here and that's the notes app. Let me turn down my brightness. That's the notes app. When you open the notes app, it looks like this, and I'm sure you've seen it before, but there's a little button up here that looks like a pencil and paper. If you click on that, it's going to pull up your keyboard. This is where you're going to draft your essay. Now, yes, I know you love these sweet little emojis. I know that you do. And I know that you love this button right here where it tells you that you can talk. Um, I know that you love those, but guess what? You cannot use those on this essay. This essay is a serious, formal essay. You're just going to type it, okay? So let me show you what I'm talking about. If you look at your plan and your attention getter, normally your attention getter is already written, right? All you have to do is type it out. So what if it was, do you love, now watch me. When I go to capitalize a letter, there's this little uppercase right here. If you click that, it'll make your letter capitalized because Valentine's Day is capitalized. So do you love Valentine's Day like I do? So then you have to have punctuation. So the reason I don't let you use the dictation, that's where you talk it, is because it doesn't add punctuation. So we're going to have to add a question mark. If you want to add a question mark, you can go right here to this button. It'll show you all of your punctuation and you'll click the, this is a period. If you want a question mark, you will drag your finger down and it'll give you a question mark. So again, let me show you. You click, you can click that button and you can drag your finger down to get the question mark. So do you love Valentine's Day like I do? That would be your attention getter. It is the most Fun time of the year. Again, I'm going to put an exclamation point. Class Valentine's parties are always my favorite. Now I'm going to put a comma. Oops, a comma. But my teacher never does anything I like to do period. So yes, you still have to do your punctuation. You still have to do capital letters. So when you are doing your um, essay, I would have your plan right next to you. And just like normal, copy it down from here to here by typing it. Okay. So again, you'll do your ACE. Say this is my ACE and I'm done. To make a new paragraph, I'm going to click this button that says return, and that is going to give me a new paragraph. And then I can start off with to begin, comma, oop, to begin, I love cheese. <laughs> this is not what you're going to say. I love cheese, blah, 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 blah. So if you would like to indent your paragraphs, you would all go to the front of the paragraph and click five times. And it'll give you your little indent. So then when you finish typing, I'm just showing you an example. Oops. When you finish typing, it looks all nice and neat. And you have paragraphs. Look at that. Nice, neat little paragraphs. So let's say I'm done and I'm ready to take a picture of my essay. So if you ever want your keyboard to go away, you're going to click this keyboard down button and it's time for you to um, take a picture. I would make it full screen by clicking these arrows and you're going to take a screenshot. So I know you know how, but let me show you anyway. Click the home, this button. This is a home button and your lock screen button and you're going to take a screenshot. Now, just like normal, this is your essay now, and you can turn that into Canvas just like normal, just as if you would have taken a picture on your, uh, on your iPad. So I know it's a little bit different, 
But you today, your job is to brainstorm and plan on paper. Now, I'm only going to have you turn in your finished essay. I'm not going to make you turn in every single step of the way because I know that you have already, I know that you know what you're doing. So I'm going to trust you to do all the pieces of the essay and only turn in your publish. So Monday, you're going to brainstorm and plan. Then on Tuesday, you're going to draft your whole essay. This is what's going to take the longest. You're going to draft your whole essay. Get your plan out and do just like normal. The only difference is you're typing it. So come over here, type your essay out. Here's the good thing about typing your essay. When you go to publish, all you have to do is revise and edit. So when I'm looking at my essay, if I see words that have a red squiggly under them, that means that it's spelt wrong and I need to go back and fix it. So when you go to do your publish, you've already kind of done it. You just have to read through it two or three times, make sure it sounds good, and then you're done. You don't have to completely retype your whole essay. That's something I think you guys would like. So again, Monday, brainstorm and plan. Tuesday, you're going to draft. Wednesday, if you want to continue drafting, you can continue drafting. On Thursday, you are going to revise and edit and publish it. So your revise and edit is reading it two to three times. And then your publish is really just correcting it, taking a picture and turning it in. So if you finish your essay, I don't want anybody finished today. But if you finish your essay, you can turn it in on Wednesday. You can either turn it in Wednesday or Thursday, but it's going to be the same assignment all week long. So again, I'm going to post the prompt down below, brainstorm and plan today, draft on Tuesday and Wednesday, and then Thursday you can revise and edit and turn it in. If you want to revise and edit and draft and be done with it on Wednesday, that's fine, but I do not want to see any essays turned in before Wednesday. Pinky promise. Okay, so... I hope that you like typing your essay. I know you're not used to typing your essay, but I think this is going to be great practice for you. So get out your plan. Start doing your plan. Tomorrow start drafting because you can't turn it in until Wednesday. All right, guys. I love y'all so much. I cannot wait to see what your essays look like all nice, neat, and typed up. All right. Love y'all. Bye.